Hello there. Getting bored on a Friday? Well, this time let me present before you a challenge which was posted recently by one of our subscribers to our email ID. And this goes like this. You have one column which mentions login ID. So I have trimmed the data. This is hypothetical data, but the data looked somewhat similar like this. In one column login ID, the second column belongs to access codes and third some kind of a description code. Now, the user wanted that this entire piece of data should be reframed and copy pasted like this, what I've shown in terms of output. If you could go to the output sheet, you will notice that the first line item, the person had to copy. He had to apply two techniques. One is paste special value and the second one is transpose so that it gets copy pasted one after another. And he had to do that for all the items. There are more than 600 items. This is just 50 of them. So pay special value transpose. Now he was thinking of applying macros to do that. But yeah, it can be done with macros, but that will involve a certain bit of coding knowledge, which of course, if you have, please employ that. If even if you have it, then it will also employ some kind of a testing time. Now this could be a one time exercise. I don't want to spend that much amount of time on coding and testing. So I want you to pause the video and think of a possible solution that doesn't require any coding language in VBA. Assuming you had paused the video and had tried it on your own. Let me now show you the solution and trust me, this is not going to take more than few seconds at max a minute if you're really, really slow. But along the way, I must also tell you the logic with which I had solved it. So what did I do? I went to the input. I chose the entire piece of data starting from the first line, shift control down, copied it. By the way, if you want to go back to the header, control backspace is the shortcut key. So after having copied it, I'm going to the sheet called practice and I'm going to paste it using paste special value and transpose. Okay. Now this is not the desired results. I would want that all these pieces of data should be pasted vertically one after another. Now, how did I do that? First, I wanted to find out how many instances are there. So if I use shift control, right uh, at the bottom of the status bar, I get to see it's around 50. Okay. And 50 into three times, that means 150 items, 150 line items should be present in my final output. So what do I do? I'm just calculating this uh, in Excel, although this is a very simple calculation, but just to show you how it works, 150 line items. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to the 150th row item. How do I go there quickly? I go to the top left panel of my screen, which is called name box. I put in A150, enter. Now I'm going to put a simple letter X. This is just to have an obstacle which will stop my selection till this row. If I use shift control down or control D. So after having put in a letter X, let me press control up arrow key. Now imagine if I were to write a formula like this, it will surely pick up the next columns value. Correct. And the fourth character will be zero. Why? Because it's pointing to a cell, which is blank. Now, why is that blank? Because there is no formula. If I put equal to here, what would it say? It's creating a chain. So I want to build a chain like this for the entire column A, right where may, uh, column D may be giving values to column C, column C is in turn giving values to column B, and finally it gets flowed down to column A. So what do I do? I go back one step. I put an equal to sign. I put that uh, cursor on B1 in this case, enter. Now this particular formula, shift control down is the key that I'm pressing. I'm pressing control D, which immediately copy paste the entire formula. If you want to go back to the top of the header, you may press control backspace key. Now, if you wish to copy the formula till the right hand side, shift control end key. What shift control end key does is it takes your selection right from the active cell to the last used cell. And if you want to go back to the header again, control backspace key. Now notice, since the initial column is already selected, if I press control R, it copy pastes the entire formula. And now you notice in column A, the chain that we have been able to bring has already given us the answer. So what I do, I quickly choose this column A, copy that and use a paste special value. 
And do I need the remaining columns? Of course not. So column B onwards, shift control right, control minus, all gets deleted and this is your answer. So technically speaking, if I do a very, very quick snapshot, how would it look? It would look like how fast it's going to get copy pasted. So I copy that, I go to sheet five, Alt E S E, enter, next. I've counted 150 items, so I go to A150, mm -hmm. put an X, control up, next. I put a simple formula equal to the next columns for cell, shift control down, control D, shift control end key and control R, then control backspace key. Notice my answer is already there. So just column A copied and Alt E S V, enter and remaining column B onwards, shift control right, control minus. So that's how long it took me to answer that question. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more such Yoda hack videos, please subscribe to our channel. And I'm sure you'll learn more and more such tricks in times to come. Thank you.